Welcome to our DIY recipe or photo album tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahalit here at the Graphic 45 headquarters, and I'm so excited to teach you how to create this gorgeous album from scratch. This Life's a Bowl of Cherries photo album or recipe book is so fun and so simple to create and a great way to use up all of your leftover bits and pieces so you can see We've got lots of interactive details, some stamping techniques, oodles of pockets for all of your goodies and memorabilia, and great places to add your recipes or photos. So let us know in the comments below how you're gonna be using your album. Maybe you're using a different paper collection or making a couple of these. We'd love to hear from you. Got some flip tops and more unique ways to use up those square tags just so cute and even some fun stamping techniques this album has been created for us by maria cole and as you just saw there are so many fun techniques and details inside that she's always surprising us with now to pick up this kit you can go to our website g45papers.com or down to your local graphic 45 retailer this kit includes Life's a Bowl of Cherries 12 by 12 collection pack. This is a double sided. You get two of each of those sheets for a total of 16 sheets in there. And stamp set with eight total unique stamps. These are now a larger size that are a four by six. Our brick red ink pad, the Life's a Bowl of Cherries ephemera assortment pieces and our square ivory tags. Also in your kit, you're gonna get the project sheet with step-by-step -step directions, a bag to store everything in, and subscribers are going to get this Life's a Bowl of Cherries button. Now grab those supplies and let's start creating this gorgeous album. Let's start our journey in creating this recipe album. Of course, the project sheet comes with your kit, but if you're creating along with us, just using what you have at home in your stash, you can always get this project sheet on our website. It's a free download at g45papers.com. Go up to that inspiration tab, down to project sheets, and there you go. For step one, we're gonna take the cover from our 12 by 12 collection pack, and we are going to cut off the top at eight inches and then cut this in half at six inches so you have two six by eight pieces from that leftover bit we're going to cut out another piece that's going to be four and a quarter by six inches put this piece in on the four and a quarter side and we're going to score at one and a half and then we're going to score again at two and three quarters go ahead and crease on those score lines. This is gonna be your spine piece. So our spine here should be one and a quarter. I've added adhesive to my left and right flap of my spine. I'm gonna use some score tape along with some of my favorite art glitter glue. Adding the liquid glue, as most of you might know by now, uh, just gives us that freedom of movement in case we want to slip and slide this into place. And again, I just refilled my adhesive container, so it's a little more generous than I'd like it to be, but we'll make it work. Now add some liquid glue as well, and we are just going to slide this into place. So I like to fold so I know everything is looking good and where I want it. And here is the beginnings of our DIY book album. Of course, if you want this to be a little bit sturdier, um, you could always use a second piece of packaging and do the same thing twice, or you could always do uh, the front and back covers with some uh, chipboard sheets if you have extra of those lying around. I know a lot of people who are a part of our album club as uh, subscribers, you will have extra sheets from a uh, previous month, so you could always use that. And then um, you could still use this as your spine piece. 
Step four, we're gonna cut a piece of Life's a Bowl of Cherries to nine and three eighths by 12 inches, and then cut this in half. So you have two nine and three eighths by six inch pieces. Take one of these pieces and score it at one and three eighths from the left. That will be our front cover. And then we'll do the same, but I'm gonna flip this over so it'll be one and three eighths on the back side. And this is going to be our back cover. Now we are going to adhere our front and back on. If you're looking for some extra strength, um, dry adhesive is a great way to add that. So I am using some just thick score tape here, and then I'm gonna fill in my gap in the center with a one inch score tape. Of course, this step is not necessary, but if you do want a little bit of added structure, this is an easy way to achieve that. Now to ensure movement, I've added my liquid ad adhesive and we are just going to go in and adhere this baby down. Once you almost rip it up into pieces and you find the right placement, go ahead and take a bone folder and burnish that down. Go ahead and fold on those score lines and if you have some excess, trim that off. You're cutting it a little bit too large. It's always nice since everyone scores and uh, cuts things just a little bit differently so that way you ensure that you have enough paper to cover everything and everything is looking beautiful. Now if you want to hide that white core you could just take some coordinating inks and ink your edges. This is of course an optional step. Of course, if you don't have a coordinating blue in your kit, you're gonna get that brick red ink and you can ink up the edges with that and it'll look beautiful with all everything tying in as well. We're gonna take two pieces of Pretty Please and we're gonna cut these both to be six and five eighths by five and one eighth. With cherry on top, we're gonna cut out two pieces that are gonna be six and a quarter by four and three quarters. Add adhesive to the back and adhere both of these right in the center of your red polka dots. Adhere these down on your front and back cover. From the second sheet of Life's a Bowl of Cherries, we're gonna cut out this I Love You Cherry Much sentiment, and that's gonna go on the spine of our album. So we're gonna take one of the square tags that comes in your kit. Of course, if you're creating from scratch, you could just use a piece of a nice 100 pound ivory cardstock. And we're gonna cut this down. So we're gonna cut off those edges and we're gonna cut it to be four inches by two and a half. From your Life's a Bowl of Cherries stamp, we are gonna take out this cute little heart flourish. Now, I've got some of that brick red ink on there and I'm just gonna do a little practice trial on the back of my project sheet. That looks lovely. So now I'm going to do this cute little flourish on my piece. I'm gonna do it on all four edges. So I want the first one to be in the center. And I'm just gonna work my way around. And just go ahead and clean off your stamps. So I've dumped all my ephemera pieces into a nice little container so I can easily find them. And then I've found my two pieces I need. Add your liquid adhesive to this detailed, gorgeous piece. And then just slide it into place. Next, we're gonna add our cute little cherry dessert on the bottom, hanging off just a bit. Then we're gonna take two more tags and we're gonna cut off the uh, side pieces here and here. That's seven eighths of an inch on both sides and then two inches off the bottom. So you'll end up with two pieces that look like this. Back up, let's add this piece to this frame. So just simply adhere this down over the blue. 
Next, we are gonna play around with our placement. So I have my two tag pieces underneath my ephemera collage. And we want this to be nice and centered on our front. So once you have the placement you like, we'll adhere our ivory tag pieces down. I just have mine just slightly over that blue diamond paper. like so, and then I'm gonna add some foam adhesive to the back of this cutie. And then I've also added a little bit of liquid adhesive as well. That way I can slip and slide this into place and it's gonna get a better bond because we're gonna get a lot of people looking at these gorgeous albums year after year. So we want some good insurance that everything's gonna stay in place. Look at that lovely dimension. Step 12, we've taken our leftover pretty please piece and we've cut this into two pieces that are six inches by four and three quarters. And then we're gonna take our leftover cherry on top pieces and cut out two pieces that are five and five eighths by four and three eighths. If you want to ink these edges, this would be a great time to use our brick red ink. So what do you think, to ink or not to ink? We'd love to hear in the comments below what you prefer. Is it something you do occasionally? Is it something you live by religiously? Let us know. Next, we're gonna fussy cut this out and this from your leftovers. However, I made a mistake and there's a cut in mine. So let's go ahead and fix it. I'm just gonna cut out both of my pieces loosely. And then we're going to, especially on nice curves like this, we're just gonna steer our paper through our blade. Now to Frankenstein these pieces back together, I'm just gonna use some leftover scraps from these tags we cut out earlier. So I'm gonna add my adhesive to my triangle piece, add my smaller piece to the bottom and then my larger piece is gonna go up top. Flip that over and then just make sure you have a nice good seal. So there you have it. We have fixed this and it'll look beautiful in our album. Step 14, we're gonna take homemade goodness and cut out two pieces that are 12 inches by six inches. Score one piece at four inches on the blue side and then we'll flip this over to the plaid side and score the other piece at four inches. Crease both of those on the score marks so the plaid is on the back and our kitchen tools are on the front. Next we're going to take a ruler and on the dark blue side we are going to mark at the top one inch from our um, folded edge and two inches from the bottom on the uh, right hand edge. And then we'll do the same on this one. So two inches from the bottom, this time on the left hand edge and one inch from that scored and folded spine. So we're gonna cut on a diagonal. These are gonna be creating a nice little folder edge for us on the inside of our album. So I have my top uh, white mark up here and my bottom white mark down here and I'm just gonna slice on that diagonal. Now you can see my back cover folder uh, has been created. And this is gonna be my inside front cover folder. Line up those marks and slice. Adhere the bottom pocket closed. Adhere this to the inside front cover to get a really good burnish. Since we have dimension out here, it's easier to apply pressure from the front cover. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna do my back cover as well. So we're looking like this. 
adhere these two fussy cut pieces down, making sure not to adhere your pocket closed. So just running a paper towel underneath there, making sure I'm nice and good to go. And then from your ephemera pieces, I'm going to adhere two little hearts. And then score your cherries at a half of an inch from the left hand side and adhere just that half inch part to your polka dots. Now these little photo mats are just gonna slide right in. From our leftover bit of the signature page, Life's a Bowl of Cherries, we've cut this piece to be approximately one and a quarter by six inches. And this is just gonna go right here in our spine. So if yours is slightly too big, you might want to continue to uh, just trim that down until it fits uh, beautifully in your spine. Then we'll go ahead and adhere this into place. Step 18, we're taking Simply Sweet and we've cut out three pieces that are gonna be four inches by four and a quarter. And then we're gonna score all three of these a half of an inch from the left-hand side. From the leftovers, we're gonna cut out one piece that's gonna be six and five eighths by four and a half. And then this piece we're going to save, which is five and three eighths by four and a half. And then for the leftover from that, we're going to cut out three pieces that are all going to be one inch by three and a quarter. So next we're going to take this cherry blossom stamp. So cute and so timely with all the cherry blossoms out blooming on those trees. And we are going to do a practice stamp, of course. Looking good. I'm going to re-ink this up and I've taken three of these ivory square tags and we are going to do a bit of stamping. So I'm going to stamp this in my top left hand corner and then without reapplying I'm going to stamp again on either side like so. And then I'll do the same in this bottom right corner. Without reapplying, I'm going to get these and this. so cute. And what a fun technique. So I'm going to do the same to all three of those. And this is going to be a great space for uh, writing in your sentiments or adding photos. What a fun technique and a great way to get a variety of colors using one ink pad. Now we're going to take our little strips and score in half at a half of an inch on the one inch side on all three. Crease all three of those in half with the green on the inside and then add adhesive to one side of your half inch flaps. And these are going to adhere on your right hand side of your tag on the stamped side. Making sure that we stamped on the reverse side of our tag so the grommet's on the back and on the front we have our nice beveled grommet. So now we're going to take these rounded square shapes that we made earlier and on that half inch score line add some adhesive and then with our grommet pointing uh, to our right, we are going to adhere this right side up in the center of our tag. Do the same with all three. From Hello Sunshine, I've cut a piece that's going to be four inches by four inches. Taking our largest Simply Sweet piece that we cut earlier, that is six and five eighths by four and a half. We're going to take our four by four inch square and this is going to adhere about an inch from the right hand side centered from top and bottom. And to jazz things up a bit, let's add a little cherry soda bottle cap. Of course, if you want to make this just a little tuck spot and add a photo underneath there easily, just add adhesive to the back of the right hand side. From the leftovers of Hello Sunshine, we've cut out three pieces that are three and a quarter by four inches. So underneath our little 
flip top on our tag where you're going to adhere those Hello Sunshine pieces. And I'm gonna leave a nice eighth of an inch border from my flip top page, making sure that it's all covered when my uh, Life is Sweet or Simply Sweet is closed. Add a line of adhesive on one of those three tags. That way you can use this as a tuck spot. And those tickets are just gonna go right in the center down here so we can tuck in a photo or a fun little sentiment. Add adhesive to the other side of your half inch flap. And this is going to adhere a quarter of an inch from the left hand side, flush with the top and bottom. And then just keep working your way over. And then using that half inch as a guide, then you'll place your next two tags. When you're all done, you should have a great little waterfall piece that looks like this. Locate this cherry soda clock, add your foam adhesive, and we're gonna pop this on the front of our tag waterfall piece, making sure that it's still gonna be able to fold open without destroying our clock. So now that we have that all put together, we are going to just score next to where our tags are. So I'm just scoring at a quarter of an inch. And I will fold that under. I've added adhesive to that quarter inch scored section. And I'm going to adhere this on the left flush with my spine about an inch from the bottom. Now I'm just gonna punch out a half a circle on that green piece that we had left over when we were cutting this larger piece. And this is going to form a pocket. So I'm just gonna add adhesive on the top, bottom, and the back of the right-hand side. And I see that my paper behind here is upside down, but oopsie doodles. I'm sure it won't be too big of a deal with all the fun stuff we're gonna have going on in this album. Add a line of adhesive on the back of this Life is Sweet ephemera piece. And this is gonna go in the center on the right. And then from our signature leftovers, we've got this have a cherry on top kind of day. That's just gonna slide right in our pocket. Step 25, we've got our picnic time here and it's been cut to 12 inches by six inches. We're gonna do some scoring. Our first score line is gonna be at a quarter of an inch. And our second will be at seven and a quarter. From the leftovers of Life's a Bowl of Cherries, we've cut out Life is Sweet to be seven inches long. Next from I Love You Cherry Much, we're gonna cut out this homemade cherry pie. And from your ephemera assortment pieces, we're gonna grab those five pieces. Go ahead and crease on that quarter inch mark and then fold under at seven and a quarter. So your piece will look like this. I'm gonna take my circle punch again and on my shorter plaid side here, I'm gonna pop out a half a circle punch. And then I'm going to adhere the top and bottom, creating a nice little pocket. Add adhesive to that quarter inch score section. And then this is just gonna go on our album right next to our page one and two. Make sure you're getting a great bond and that we don't have any adhesive pouring out anywhere. We also want to make sure that our pages are nicely inside our album. 
add your border piece to the bottom of your plaid page. And if you have any excess, go ahead and trim that off. On the back of your homemade pie, we're gonna add adhesive in a U shape. And this is going to adhere just about a quarter of an inch up from our border and a quarter of an inch over from where our page folds. Adhere your banners your cherries and then take these cute little tags and tuck those in your pocket so we're going to take the remaining 12 by 4 piece of hello sunshine and we are going to fold this right in half find the center and crease out then i'm going to take this cherry on top and add just a line of adhesive on the top Add this to the edge so we have a nice little uh, pull tab and a great space for so many photos and then uh, this is just gonna slide right into our plaid pocket from our leftover signature page we've cut out this cherry soda bottle caps and I'm just gonna kind of fold at the top and bottom where I want to cut my excess off Add adhesive to the pop, the top and bottom. And then this is just gonna adhere right on top of our plaid, creating a great little belly band. Cut out this piece from I Love You Cherry Much, and it's just gonna tuck right into our belly band. With our second sheet of homemade goodness, we've cut this to be seven and a half by 12 inches. On the seven and a half inch side, we are going to score at a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to flip this and score on the 12 inch side at six inches. And then from the left hand side, trim out that bottom quarter of an inch, six inch piece. And then go ahead and fold this piece down and your quarter of an inch tab over. From our second sheet of Hello Sunshine, we've cut out two pieces that are five inches by three and a half, and one piece that's four and a quarter by three and a quarter. From our second piece of Pretty Please, we've cut out three pieces that are five inches by three and a half, and then we've rounded the bottom uh, corners. Then we're going to score these on the three and a half inch side on our edge that does not have uh, the rounded corners at a half of an inch. And we're gonna give these two pieces of Hello Sunshine, our two larger pieces, the same treatment. From I Love You Cherry Much, we cut out this Life is Sweet border that's five inches, and we grab these three ephemera. With one of those polka dot pieces, we're gonna pop up Life's a Bowl of Cherries and then add your sweet border at the very top. Starting with one of our blank polka dot papers, I've added adhesive and creased the top of my piece. And this is going to go on my flip top piece here. So I have my spine underneath and on the top I've got my uh, wording and everything right side up. And I'm going to adhere this about an inch from the left hand side and flush with the bottom. Always go ahead and fold that up, making sure you don't have adhesive seeping out. So then we're just gonna work our way up doing the exact same thing. Next with one of our floral papers. And these will just be flush with each other. So now we've got our second waterfall installment and it is so stinking cute. Add adhesive to the back left side of this gorgeous little floral. This is gonna be our little pull tab and it's gonna go right towards the center. Maria has this I Love You Cherry Much just right above there. But if you'd rather put it somewhere else, you can do that as well. I'm gonna try just putting it down or maybe up 
on one of my waterfall pages, just adding adhesive to the back of the left hand side and making sure that it's still going to be able to flip up and down. From our leftover picnic time, we've cut this piece to be three and a quarter by five and a half. I've added a cherry bottle cap, and then this is from I Love You Cherry Much. I've added adhesive in a U shape, and it's just going to go on the bottom of our picnic time plaid. Just trimming off any excess. From the leftover of Pretty Please, we've got this piece to be three and a quarter by five and a half. And this is our second sheet of Simply Sweet that we cut into at two and seven eighths by ten and a quarter. Take this Simply Sweet piece and fold it right in half. And then with your word side up, adhere that onto your dots. Take another ivory tag and we're going to score from the bottom with the grommet on the right hand side at three and a half inches. Then we're going to take this piece of Hello Sunshine that's four and a quarter by three and a quarter and we're going to adhere it to the bottom of our tag. Of course, if you'd like, you can round those corners. Adhere your flap down. From I Love You Cherry Much, you're going to cut out those five stamps and then we're going to grab these three ephemera pieces. And now we are going to adhere it all inside of our folder. The cherry soda bottle cap I adhered was too large and it's going to be an obstruction. So make sure when you're grabbing that, you grab the small one in your ephemera pack. And then this is just going to adhere just a tiny bit over the top of our plaid. And then you're going to adhere these two pieces side by side, making sure that there's the same distance on the right and left. Add adhesive to our stamps on the top and bottom, and this is going to be our belly band. Add adhesive in a U shape on the back of our tag. Adhere your cherries down and tuck these tags into your pocket. Add adhesive to that quarter inch spine and then that we're going to adhere just next to our red page, making sure our pages are all staying inside of our book and nice and parallel. A great way to do that is to close up your book and fill the top, making sure everything's staying nice and inside. Now we're going to try another technique. We are going to take another one of our tags and we are going to stamp this on the back side. So first we are going to add our sentiment, which is life is sweet. I'm just going to do a test stamp on my scratch paper, making sure you like it. So ink that up again. And this is going to go in the center of our tag. Beautiful. So now we're going to do a masking technique. So I'm just going to use some leftover washi that I've got in my stash. And I'm just going to tape off some nice areas so I can stamp on a nice little cherry border. So so I want my top and bottom sections to be about similar sizes so it looks nice and cohesive. And of course, if you don't have washi tape, you could always use just some scratch paper and some tape to <coughs> tape that into place. So we're going to use this double cherry stamp. And let's just start stamping. So I'm going to flip this upside down. And then have it right side up, just kind of interlocking these images. And then I'll do the same up here. Close up our ink and clean up our stamp. And now it's time for the big reveal. So there you have it. So cute. Ink up those edges. Now from your leftovers, we're going to cut out this cherry border that's seven and a quarter inch. We're also going to take out this quote from that same I Love You Cherry Much paper. This comes from the signature page and from picnic time, we've cut this to be 
four and a quarter by four inches and then rounded those quarters. Adhere that plaid and these two ephemera pieces to the front of your tag. I'm gonna bring this in. We are going to add our pieces all onto the back. This will adhere as a pocket, so add your adhesive in a U shape. And adhere this to the bottom of your page flush. Adhere this down, and these two are just going to tuck right in your pocket. Next, we're going to take our second piece of picnic time and cut this down to be seven and three quarters by 12 inches. Score on the seven and three quarters side at one quarter of an inch. On the 12 inch side, we're going to score that at six inches. Cut out that top quarter of an inch left tab. From your leftover homemade goodness, we've cut this piece to be three and seven eighths by five and three eighths. We're gonna take this cherry image from I Love You Cherry Much and then we're gonna score this at a half of an inch on the three and a quarter inch side. Add adhesive and adhere this onto your homemade goodness. In the instructions, it has you score that at the top and then it's a flip top. However, mine's gonna go side to side, which either way it's gonna look great. But then you're gonna take this and use that as a little pull tab so I'm putting mine on the side since mine opens from the side. If you're doing yours like the project sheet, uh, you'll go ahead and put that on the bottom. Okay, and cut this out of the signature page and then find these two little pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and make this into our pocket page. So fold on that score line and I'm going to add adhesive on the top edge here. And then my um, bottom, left edge. So I do not have any adhesive on the right hand side. That way we can tuck some goodies into our pocket. And then take your circle punch we've been using and we're going to just punch this out like so. And then adhere everything down on top of your pocket. Step 44, we're taking handmade goodness and we've cut this to be four and three eighths by five and three eighths. And then we have our Simply Sweet here, that's four inches by 10 inches. And then we have just simply folded this in half. Take Have a Sweet Day, one of your leftovers from I Love You Cherry Much. And this is just going to adhere towards the center bottom after we've adhered this onto our handmade goodness. And then we're gonna grab this ephemera piece and add some foam adhesive. And this is just gonna pop right up. From I Love You Cherry Much, we've cut out this to be six inches and then we've grabbed this from our ephemera assortment. And we're gonna put this all together on the back side of this pocket, making sure everything's right side up. So we're going to adhere this down next to our a quarter of an inch spine piece. So we want to leave about a quarter of an inch from there and then adhere your belly band down and your ephemera piece, making sure you can still slide something underneath here. Add your adhesive to the spine and then this is going to adhere into our book. Find your second sheet of cherry on top and cut this to be six and a half by nine and a half. And then we're gonna score that right in half and fold. And then with our leftover picnic time papers, we're gonna get two of these to be six inches by four inches. Adhere those down, adding these two ephemera pieces. And you've got a cute little photo mat folder that's gonna tuck right into your last red page. So we're just gonna do some finishing touches work. So we're gonna add some paper in between our signature papers. And so we have a nice cohesive look. In the instructions, it says to do four pieces that are a quarter of an inch by six inches. I cut mine just a slightly smaller than that. Um, so they fit nicely. And then also I'm gonna try something a little bit different than in the instructions. I'm only gonna use two of those quarter inch strips and then I'm gonna cut two other pieces that are gonna be three quarters of an inch by six inches. 
and I'm going to score those. One of those I'm going to score at a half of an inch, which will be used for our front, and the other one I will score at a quarter of an inch, which will be used for our back. This way we are going to be covering up this gap in our spine here and adding a little more structure. So our first one we're going to glue in is the one that we scored at a half of an inch. I've creased and added my adhesive, so now it's just time to place this in. So making sure we're flush with the top and bottom. I'm just using my fingernail to burnish this in and then let that down and score with your bone folder. And then go ahead and let this dry. Next we are going to add in our quarter of an inch pieces. Before you adhere these in, just make sure they're going to fit in the space. You might need to trim down just a hair. Add in your second fourth of an inch strip. Now we're going to take our last three quarters of an inch strip. This one was scored at a quarter of an inch and it's just going to go on our last page. So there you have it. We have finished this gorgeous DIY recipe album. Are you going to be use this for recipes or photos? Let us know. We'd love to see your work. So share your projects with us on Instagram using the graphic 45 hashtag. And if you're looking for more great tutorials like this, become a subscriber to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell. So, you know, every time we upload a new video, thank you for joining us. And as always, happy paper crafting.